Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to From the Depths with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to the Battle Royale of the April Fool's designs. For those who don't know, over the last few days, the Deepwater Guard designs have been replaced with a couple of very interesting alternatives, including hamsters, giant flying hornet wasp creatures, and even a replica out of the Avatar. But one question still needs to be answered. Who is the King of the Fools? And to answer that, we're going to be fighting off all of the April Fools designs against each other in a tournament style setting. In front of you right now should be the brackets which I've quickly devised just to make it a little bit fairer to decide who is truly the best of the best in this April Fools event. My money is on the coffin nail, but honestly, some of the designs Designs are oddly deadly. A few people have been telling me how they've been killed multiple times by giant ducks, by an avatar rampaging in their base, and all sorts of craziness like that. So let's get straight into it and fight off the angry chicken versus the paddle gunner. The angry chicken is already flapping around in the water, so let's spawn in the paddle gunner and begin the battle. My money is actually on the paddle gunner for this one because it does have an amazing cram cannon. If it actually stands upright to fire it, that would be fantastic. One good hit may actually end the battle straight away. The angry chicken has definitely been downgraded in this April Fool's event. Oh, there we are, a nasty shot on the side, but not stopping the angry chicken in the slightest. Although the angry chicken's new offensive capabilities in comparison to its old capabilities before the change, definitely not too strong. And there we are, a decisive blow against the angry chicken. I think that is that. It's still firing its arse missiles. But is anything else currently online? Let's have a quick look. The AI is still up so it's not quite dead yet. The paddle gunner getting closer is actually a huge mistake here because it can't quite fire at point-blank range. But even so, well, the ram survived, that's the important part there, and the paddle gunner is still missing, so maybe there'll be a turnaround. If any of those missiles hit either the, st the stability center of the paddle gunner, which of course is what's keeping it upright currently, or simply hits the gun off, then the angry chicken may win. Maybe. Maybe I'll just skip until something unique happens. Another direct hit. Okay, the angry chicken is looking even worse now, although it has now gained the ability to fly. So has the Paddle Gunner. However, the hamster has escaped its wheel. The Paddle Gunner has had a mutiny. The hamster is escaping for better places, completely ignoring the explosion in the background there. Oh no, look, there's a little wound on the hamster. How horrible. Of course, if the Paddle Gunner wins, it will be against the Coffin Nail, which is significantly worse. I think at this point we should put the Angry Chicken out of its misery. The weapons are no longer online, although it is self-repairing. This is just going to to be a very slow victory for the Paddle Gunner, so well done. Round one goes to the Paddle Gunner. Escape, you adorable hamster, you! Next up, we have the Marauder, currently being replaced with a giant rubber ducky, versus the Flying Squirrel, which of course is now a flying pigeon. Not quite as scary as its usual self, but let's see if it is as powerful. In fact, it has more weapons. Are those torpedoes? Yes, they are. They are not regular bombs like the regular Flying Squirrel has. Let's get down to the Marauder's level. It does have cram cannons, but it doesn't seem like it's able to activate them, at least against an enemy in the air. Not exactly the best matchup. The Flying Squirrel apparently does have some form of advanced cannon as well, which I believe are on its little feet there. How adorable. So, I think it's fairly safe to assume this is going to be a victory for the Flying Squirrel, although a very, very slow one. 
Around about five minutes later, there was a very small explosion which admittedly got a lot of stuff into the water, and it seems like the Marauder Ducky is now sinking. After looking into it, it seems like one of the torpedoes managed to hit the ammunition barrels on the bottom of the duck, thus rendering it completely useless and thus giving the second victory to the flying squirrel pigeon thing. A very derpy battle now with the Atlas Retrofit versus Nessie. Two of the sheep models going head to head to see which one of them has the best costume. The regular sheep with the axe on the top, making it of course a lamb chop, which is a joke I didn't get when I was first reviewing them, or the pirate sheep. It's basically going to be which one lands the first hit, because I can't imagine either of them surviving more than one shot. It seems like the lamb chop is trying to escape, or at least go to a range it can start its manoeuvres, and the pirate sheep is happily broadsiding. Actually, no, it's not. Not in the slightest. It's just firing forwards with cannons. Not much more explanation needed there. Ooh, that looked remarkably painful. Although the lamb chop did get a shot back, sadly... Hitting the air behind it and exploding? Oh, it must have timed shells or something. Or perhaps it it caught something and I didn't quite catch it. Although the Lamb Chop did fight valiantly and get one hit off, it does seem like, yeah, it does seem like the pirate is the victor here. And definitely some form of proximity weapon or perhaps time shells on the cram cannons there. Ooh, nasty hit in the face. Oh, maybe not, maybe I was speaking far too soon, down goes the pirate, are we going to have a draw? I don't know what, sh what should happen on the case of a draw, I guess just redo the match? Originally this was going to be a best of three el elimination, but honestly, that would have took far, far too long. Can either of you repair? If not, Mr. Pirate's going to win. Right up the, um, the axe, let's call it the axe. I've just realised that... Oh, its little tail is a flare. That's something I didn't notice either. Are the Lamb Chop's weapons online? If they are not, I'm going to claim the pirate, the captain sheep, as the victor. Perhaps I'm missing another joke. Lamb Chop. Get it? Nope, it seems like the Lamb Chop is completely offline, and the victor is the captain sheep known as Nessie, or at least I believe it's Nessie. Maybe this one is the Atlas Retrofit. I literally can't remember. Let's have a quick look. Okay, that's the Atlas Retrofit. The Atlas Retrofit goes on to the next round. And now they have tag teams. Who's ready for a remarkably unfair battle? We have the Antlion currently being replaced by Sonic versus the flying Avatar itself. And yes, this is the Avatar from From the Depths, not Avatar, the series The Last Airbender, or the blue one. And it has lasers from its eyes, it has missiles, it has more missiles, and apparently it's having trouble staying in the air for some reason. But that was very quick. Apparently the gun doesn't do anything, I'm a little bit disappointed by that, honestly. But giant glowing laser eyes, and the arm has detached for reasons I'm not quite sure of. The thrusters aren't activating properly for reasons I'm not sure of. And was that the gun then just firing? I think it was. Let's watch that again a little bit closer. Yet that was the gun firing, every time it fires there is a massive amount of recoil causing the gun to fly off. The avatar is made up of five different segments, so naturally, sorry, five different vehicles which makes up the entire uh, superstructure, the mothership, the flying bot. The next battle is a bit of a cruel one, and I would like to say that this is the randomizer's fault, not my own. The giant hornet creature known as the coffin nail versus the paddle gunner, which of course is currently simply a hamster in a hamster wheel, with a very nasty cram cannon at least. If the paddle gunner can get a couple of good shots early on, it may be victorious, but as we're seeing very quickly, 
the coffin nail is gaining a lot of ground, although that shot did seem rather devastating. I do apologise for how much frame loss we are currently having. It's purely because with the April Fool designs, they're, they're actually remarkably complex, and thus causing the frame rate to drop massively as long as we have any sort of quality on the video, which is a shame, because I do want to show off these creations in as pretty colours as possible. Hamster wheel being absolutely nailed by the stinger there of the Hornet. And by the looks of it, it seems like, yep, the paddle gunner's gun has been removed. Thus, it no longer has any sort of weaponry. Thus, the victory is going to go to the Coffin Nail. Not really too much of a surprise there, but honestly, the Paddle Gunner's cannon is remarkably effective. I haven't actually tried out the Fragmentation Cram Cannons yet, and it seems like they might be worth looking into. But right now, the hamster is just simply trying to escape. Shall we let it, shall we let it get away before it is devastated by the missiles, or shall we let the carnage carry on? I think the carnage is only fair. The hamster wheel almost being completely removed there from its spokes. And so, victory goes to the coffin nail as it goes into the next round, and continues to cause our frames to drop everywhere. The Battle of the Birds, the Plunderer versus the Flying Squirrel. Of course, now the Plunderer has been replaced with a giant evil duck with laser eyes that does apparently fire missiles if the target gets close enough. Although it does have an anti-air weapon already which fires armor-piercing rounds. If they actually hit the target, they may do something. However, will they hit the target? That's a good question, which seemingly at the moment, it doesn't seem like is actually going to happen. The Flying Squirrel happily just throwing missiles at the target, doing very little damage per volley, but at least the pigeon is actually hitting its target. If you ever wondered to yourself what is stronger, the duck or the pigeon, first of all, you are a very strange person, and I do admire that, and second of all, we here at LaughCorp are here to solve that query for you. So far, Neither. They are both worthless animals that have no place in warfare. Although the pigeon is firing torpedoes. I mean, you could claim that's quite powerful. Has any real damage been done? Only superficial, with the plunderer being made out of just almost pure metal. It really does seem like if the plunderer actually gets a hit, it will win. However, at the moment, with the pigeon just hitting it over and over again, it will go to the pigeon eventually. The missiles are yet to fire. I have been told these missiles do fire, although I have not checked them myself. They do look like regular missiles, perhaps just incredibly short range? I don't really know, but right now, that's as close as it's going to get. This may be a bit of a stalemate, and if so, we'll have to go from an executive decision, which of course is just which one did I think did better. To be fair to both of the combatants, I did let this battle last another five minutes, but it seems like the plunderer is just not hitting the pigeon, or the flying squirrel as it's actually known, and thus the flying squirrel is the victor. I also double checked the missiles, and they are regular missiles. They are simply incredibly short range, with only one fuel tank. So it is a matter of simply the plunderer will never get close enough to the flying squirrel to fire the missiles, and now the flying squirrel is above the thing. It's pretty much been this for the last five minutes. Occasionally a torpedo hits and does minor damage. Victory to the flying squirrel, now surviving two rounds. For those who are wondering what is more powerful, the duck or the pigeon, here's a much more important question. The ram versus the lamb. The Atlas Retrofit versus Rambo. I'm really not very hopeful here for the lamb, with Rambo already firing a massive salvo of shells, a few of them hitting, and eventually the missiles as well. The missiles are going in, and all of them hitting doing devastating damage, although two of the shots did also hit Rambo, slightly damaging the flipper. Yep, that's 
pretty much all that shot did, although it has seemingly completely bugged out the leg. Rambo will never swim the same again. But that's not quite as bad as what's currently happening to our brave pirate captain, Olami. We do salute you in your brave fall. Also, why do they have to paint the inside of that thing red? It makes it so much more gruesome. The cigar cannon doing its work there, and the missiles finishing it off. Will it actually hit with the hammer? Come on, Rambo! Nope. Nope, it won't. It tried. Well done. You swung the hammer, Rambo, but you're just leaving your victim there to slowly rot away. And that was a fairly convincing victory there by Rambo. The last battle before the semi-finals, the Avatar, also known as Orca, versus Wanda, the wonderful flying sheep. Honestly, I think my money's on the giant Avatar with the shotgun, but if the flying sheep somehow wins, I will be more than happy. And let battle commence! After this, we have the semi-finals, and then we are so close to crowning the King of the Fools. Actually, a fair bit of damage done there to the Orca. The Flying Sheep is doing a lot better than expected. I did think it was going to be dead long before it reached the Avatar there, but sadly, it is now stuck on the land. I do think I maybe should have spawned it above the water, so I am feeling a little bit responsible for how bad this is going, but let's face it, the Orca just isn't even taking that much damage from the missiles. The first few hits were very lucky, and now Wanda is actually doing decently. I feel really bad now. Giving a second pass there of the Avatar. Wow. Well done, Wanda. So the idea is Wanda can actually skim across the water. I thought that would be enough to skim across the land, but it seems like even when it's not too damaged, that isn't really the case. It's a shame there's not a little bit more rubber on the bottom of the craft. And it's also a shame the missiles don't do just a little bit more damage, because it is resisting damage so well, up until the point I said it's resisting damage so well. Will this be the clincher? Its gun seemingly is broken to its back. But it also seems like Wanda is down for the count. Oh, here comes the gun. And... BAM! Right in the back, just to add insult to injury, the shotgun is now back online, shooting it in the butt. Also a butt missile, which refuses for such profanity. The orca circling its now deceased prey. The victor is the orca going through to the semi-finals. The Flying Squirrel versus the Coffin Nail. The first of the semi-finals now begins. This does look a little bit favoured on one side, but I'm sure it will be a decent fight regardless, if maybe a quick one. Oh, that is the most devastating victory we have seen so far. The Flying Squirrel completely obliterated by the Coffin Nail, and the Coffin Nail keeping attacking even though it is long, long dead. A bit of an aggressive vessel there. Just look at that happy face though, so glad it is now moving on to the finals. Did we ever have any doubt? The Orca, also known as the Avatar, versus the Kraken, currently being played by Rambo. Which one of these two heavyweights will take their place in the finals to face off against the Coffin Nail? Let's find out. I'm honestly not sure which of the two is the best. Rambo has a lot of missiles which are devastating, although the Orca, also known as the Avatar, has those amazing lasers and multiple components which are just falling apart with the EMP elements of the missiles. Of course, they are destroying the things attaching each of the vehicles together, which is definitely a weakness I wasn't even thinking of. 
Will Rambo get to use its mice on the Avatar? Nope, the Avatar is quickly getting out of there. A very wise move, even though it looks like it might be a little bit too light for it. The missiles are just devastating it, and even with the amazing self-healing because of the repair tentacles, it is definitely taking more damage than it is repairing. Here's the main torso and part of the arm, and as we can see, it's not looking good. Rambo is now swimming on the land. That's a weird thing to say and something I didn't think I would be saying today. Rambo is swimming on the land. I just had to kind of repeat that then just to make sure I wasn't going completely bonkers. Rambo, you are looking fabulous. It's not quite over yet though. With infinite resources in the sandbox mode, the orca could repair forever if it's not taken out soon. I am surprised that the EMP element of the missiles haven't taken out the repair tentacles yet, but EMP can be a very tricky thing. Oh, but there it goes, the AI was apparently removed, only leaving sections of the limbs, which of course can't function on their own in a very decent way. Rambo is the victor, I'll be honest, I did not see that coming, I thought the Orca was going to win that, a very satisfied smile there from Rambo. It's just a shame the coffin nail has a lot of flares, which may mean the missiles aren't as effective in the finals, which we're going to now. And so here we are at the finals. Each of the April 1st robots has been given its chance to be the king of fools. But here we are with the two shining competitors. The Coffin Nail weighing in at a whopping 2,364,880 resource points versus the Kraken on almost half of that amount. Which one will be the victor? My money is on the Coffin Nail but they both have very powerful components which may make it quite an even battle. I'm actually going to spawn it a little bit further back than I originally intended. I will be spawning both of these in the water since they both do well on the water whereas the Kraken has a distinct disadvantage if it hits land. So to make things fair, here we go. The Kraken played by Rambo versus one of the scariest of all time ships. Advanced cannon instantly hitting the target, several of the shots being deflected by the shields, but not enough. Incoming the missiles of Rambo. If these hit, however, that could be devastating. Oh, a lot of the EMP has gone off on the very core of the coffee nail, but has it actually had much of an effect? All I know is my frames are suffering massively, and the coffee nail is sinking from the skies. Is Rambo going to be the victor? Wow, I don't even know what just happened there, but some massive explosions of, on the coffin nail, the cigar cannon doing massive damage there to the advanced cannon of the coffin nail. And it does seem like Rambo might be able to use his hammer, ladies and gentlemen, sir and sirettes. Will that actually happen? Will we see the hammer against the coffin nail? Oh, and a swing and a miss, Rambo. You never fail to disappoint in your amazing ways. Well, there we are. The coffin now currently bending forwards, completely broken, and ready to be missiled from behind. <laughs> yeah, but... <clears throat> yes, missiled from behind. There we are. Literally. I'm speaking literal, of course. Massive amounts of damage, but is the AI currently online? Yes, it is. The coffin nail isn't out yet, and as we've seen, the coffin nail does have some self repair capabilities. The repair bot's currently going mental trying to get this thing back into the air. But even with the limited damage the missiles do, the EMP element has been the decisive victor in these last few matches. Rambo did not expect it, but looks like it will be Rambo for the victory and for the surprised last battle, which is occurring straight after this. Some of you may have noticed one of the April Fool's vehicles has been not added to the tournament. That's because there is a surprise last round, which is going to be somewhat cruel, somewhat sadistic, but very, very fun. Oh! Going in for the ram. Come on, Rambo, you can do it. Use the hammer, hit the target. Stop going off to the side. Rambo, why do you even have a hammer? 
Again, something weird I did not expect to say today. That is a very, very sad looking ship right now. Um, aircraft. I don't know what to call you. Airship, I suppose? It's a giant wasp hornet creature. Because the comments couldn't decide if it was a wasp or a hornet, I will keep on calling it the wasp hornet. Shall we call it? Shall we put it out of the misery? Uh, out of its misery, rather. Out of the misery of all. I think so. I can't see how it could possibly win now. Its repair rate is clearly slower than the missiles, so it simply can't come back online. Well done, Rambo, for the victory. And so we move on to a bit of a sadistic and funny end. And so, the true final battle begins between the Kraken, also known as Rambo, also known as the King of the Fools, versus a full squadron of Sea Vipers, currently being played as the only weaponless addition to the April Fools update, the adorable hamsters. Now, Sonic was also technically weaponless, but he did actually ram his targets and was far more explosive, or at least it seemed like it, so it seemed like a decent addition. Will Rambo finally get to use his hammer on something? He is hoping that one of the hamsters, which apparently are trying to attack Rambo, will go in the way of the hammer, but it seems like that's not going to happen. So whilst in the background, Rambo who swims in the blood of his hamster enemies. All that's left to say is this was a ton of fun to record, and thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that From the Depths is a series you wish to see continued in the future. If you have any suggestions for possible tournaments, then of course, comment below. I am very, very open to suggestions as this was a ridiculous amount of fun and something different from the standard from the depths. Thank you again so much for watching and we may see Rambo in my fleet in the campaign in the future. It certainly deserves it. Thank you again and goodbye.